How does multi-tenancy work in Oxide? This is a really good question, and there are a few layers to the answer. Oxide has a concept of multi-tenancy, and it's presented in a few different ways, such as silos and VPCs, or virtual private clouds. Silos are the core unit of tenancy in Oxide, and allow you to carve up one or more racks into essentially containers. Think of a silo like a cloud provider account. Each Oxide silo has a dedicated API and web console, has resource quotas for CPU, RAM, and disk so that operators can limit each silo to certain quotas. Each silo also has access policies for role-based access control. And every silo can be hooked up to an identity provider to provide login, which is perfect for enterprises that have disparate business units or are just migrating from one identity provider to another. Now, users can't see resources outside their silo, so it's perfect for isolation and tenancy. There are also VPCs, or virtual private clouds. While silos provide tenancy at a more account layer, virtual private clouds provide tenancy at a network layer, where you can have workloads running in different VPCs or in different subnets in those VPCs to provide your level of isolation or security. VPCs should be familiar to you if you're familiar with common cloud providers. We have subnets, firewall rules, routers, internet gateways, all of the common concepts in VPCs to allow you to control your traffic within a VPC or across VPCs to meet your enterprise's needs. Oxide's approach to multi-tenancy allows you to meet your security and isolation requirements for your enterprise's on-premises workloads. In fact, Oxide uses these core multi-tenancy concepts to provide preview silos for you to use to evaluate Oxide. If this aligns with your enterprise's roadmap, then head over to Oxide's website to get your tenant of Oxide today and see if it meets your business's needs.